When it comes to Oculus Quest 2, just the store alone is not enough for us to be able to get a full experience just because almost every game can cost $15 onward on the Oculus store. So what we're going to be doing today is the Oculus Quest 2 and we're going to be doing an App Lab games on how to get the App Lab games essential on there and just how to be able to utilize it because and and people are probably going to be asking uh you know what about the quest one it does work for the quest one for the most part but more games are far more optimized for the two and of course for the three coming up pretty soon so i want to tell y'all today how we can get those app lab games into your oculus quest 2 no pc required just hooked into your wi-fi and just some simple mobile friendly aspects or through the vr headset itself so let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so today we're talking about Oculus Quest 2 and App Lab games. And so it's a very simple strategy and solution to help you out. So the first one, of course, is going to be if you're wearing your VR headset already and you're searching for games in the App Lab games, uh, you don't really see it in the official Oculus store, but you would search it on your VR headset and you would have to just scroll a little bit downward and it'll say app lab games app lab games in simplified terms is actually partnered with oculus for this to be able to happen and then long story short it was side quests and side quests interacts and works with app lab games and then that is also being able to be able to use through oculus link which is the link cable or the air link and therefore that had to have a pc middleman and now you don't need a pc middleman with app lab games but app lab games is still fairly new i believe it came out like in february and so with that all happening it is still a lot of it's in beta form alpha form some of it's just in demo form and there's all these games are just very much through indie developers and upcoming developers to be able to still have their games posted so it's very important you check out these because app lab games and side quests have tons of developers that are brand new that are creating apps and games and interactions and experiences for vr that could potentially blow up overnight it's just like what we do on youtube and tiktok we create content and some content could just go viral overnight you never know uh they start off with uh, you know from the ground up hustling and they're just trying to figure out how they can immerse themselves and, and get their content out there and i'm happy to be to be able to be working with some future uh vr gamers and, and creators and app developers pretty soon so it's been amazing for that so that's kind of the backstory of what app lab games is just very much early release games that are not really in the oculus store yet and so it really helps out so in order to get that to be able to utilize these games on the Oculus Quest 2, all you have to do is that on your phone, I would say on your phone, I did already set the first version, which is just be on your headset, search the game. Like say, for an example, let's do Pavlov. That's one of the number one games that's free, which is very surprisingly is why it's still free. I have no clue why. That game is just basically the best FPS shooter and it's free. And so Pavlov, let's do uh, Pavlov Shack, the beta form. You would be on your VR headset, you would search it, but you'll notice it doesn't come up in the Oculus store. So therefore, you would have to search a little bit more down in your VR headset. And then it would actually have a little tab of App Lab Games. And then you would just press it and it would have a number of games that's actually listed under it. Name Pavlov and it'll be right there. You install it directly to your headset and that's it. But it's not... It doesn't show clearly in the search engine, so you have to kind of search around on your VR headset. Now, the second option is my favorite option because I prefer this option a lot more due to extensive research, not having to wear the VR headset, et cetera, et cetera. So in order to get the App Lab games, you're going to need a Facebook account, of course, and then you're going to need the Oculus app, and you need to have some steady Wi-Fi because it comes down to transferring more and just being able to have that game fully optimized and immersed in your VR experience. So in order to do that, you would on your phone literally just put applab.games in your phone and then you it'll be the first one that pops up um either through a google search or it actually comes up as a website however you really integrate that then when you're on it it'll show you the top hot games that are just like amazing like the first 10 already are just ones to get and these games are very cheap or they're actually free so pavlov's free then the next one's like crisis brigade or something like that and that's like maybe uh like five bucks and then part two is probably more 20 bucks because they really upped it up a bit crisis brigade 2 should not be on app lab games so there's some of these games that are like really incredible that should not be on there so when you do that all you'll do is you click on the game and i taught this a lot on my tiktok uh, series also so y'all know go check those out cheap plug go check them out um and so you would click on it and then I, it'll give you an option to just uh get on your vr headset and so it's a blue tab you just click it 
and it literally installs to the headset and it'll let you know what's available for so at the top of the game also it'll say it's for oculus 2 oculus 1 and then it gives you much more in-depth information and descriptions and people already on YouTube that have already tried out these games because developers reach out to content creators such as myself. In the near future, I'll be trying out uh, newer VR games that are very much brand new and indie because they work with us to help them out, to give them the insights and be able to provide some knowledge to the audience. So what basically happens is that they have everything optimized and all you simply do is you click it, the game downloads right to it. So long story short, you would go to applab.games on the menu, you click on the game you want, and then as long as you have the Oculus app installed, have your Facebook, have everything integrated together, Bluetooth-wise with the app, because you're supposed to have the app and Facebook in order to be able to use the Quest 2 anyway. And then after you click the game, it installs it, and then it says send to VR headset. And that's it, you'll go into your VR headset, and you go into your apps, and it's literally right there. So that's amazing that App Lab Games shows up officially in your apps and games. Now, if you do it through side quests, I believe sometimes it pops up as unknown sources still because you did it through like a actual uh, PC integration. But with App Lab games, they made it so simple to either do it through the VR headset or to be able to do it through mobile phone through the app to just send it to your app and then it sends to you. Basically, it branches out to your app and the headset at the same time, kind of like how any other thing would do, like a smartwatch would do or or just things that are really connected through an app, like Alexa, through an Alexa and an Alexa app. So that's pretty much the cool thing about App Lab Games and it is an indie development program that in, ended up coming up more into a software to where they were able to partner up with Oculus Quest and, and yada, 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 just all that. And to me, it's very exciting because that allows for people like us that spent tons and tons of money on things like this. Or if you're trying to work with people, you're trying to really it just breaks that middleman perspective in order for us to be able to utilize these things. So, yeah, be able to do that. Try it out. Try out App Lab Games and let us know what you think. Uh, leave some comments uh, to help out people. You can leave uh, comments on terms of just how you, your experience is going with it or what your favorite games are on there. There's at most at max, I think I've seen like a $20 game, but that's still very cheap versus Oculus Store. Oculus Store goes all the way up to $40 plus for their games. So it helps people save money and just have a huge library of free games. I've done tons of categories where like horror games and, and uh, shooter games and just multiplayer stuff. So check all those out. We have tons of information on here. And if you like stuff like this, hit us up with a subscribe and, and it'll mean the world to us, man. Keep it up. And I appreciate y'all. My name's Timster and peace.